Sonnen is working this hard. Well, Sonnen's working this hard, so is Stafford. Pressurized also, and it makes it very difficult for him to move while he controls the spacecraft. It is exertion against this pressurized suit, which uh, one of the reasons the heart rates go up. Man has now, on this certain mission, accomplished more in space than any of the two previous spacewalks. useful functions in the placing of the camera, the recovery of the micrometeoroid experiment, the placing of the docking adapter mirror. He now is uh, testing this Velcro and handrail means for moving around the outside of the spacecraft. We're still with you, Tom. simulation of the uh, next uh, ne next chore which is to return to the spacecraft stand in the seat conduct a couple of more uh, quick missions changing the camera etc and then he emerges again for even the longer portion of this total two hour and a half walk Stafford monitoring his instruments. The 
controlling the attitude of the spacecraft. He warned Cernan at one point, stay away from the thrusters of the spacecraft, which come out at about 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit uh, Gemini, at, the, at the nozzle. Check on that uh, primary tank pressure now. Just pump it up. Cernan will, uh, in about uh, five minutes from now, uh, move out of the spacecraft again and back to the back of the spacecraft to the adapter section where he'll stand through the night side pass around 20 minutes, putting on his uh, astronaut maneuvering unit and then venture forth again. CBS News color coverage, the Gemini 9 mission, will continue in a moment. Uh, back at our CBS News Space Center McDonnell Aircraft in St. Louis, where we've been simulating the spacewalk that Cernan is now taking. Uh, Paul Haney has having an announcement from Houston. Yeah, 
to see Germany control Houston. Well, we just got in on the uh, end of that transmission from Houston. What Paul Haney had just reported was that all of the readouts on the ground at the mission control in Houston are very favorable on this walk of uh, Eugene Cernan's, then cl including his heart rate. While it went up to 155 at one point uh, toward the end of the uh, first part of the walk, after some 20 minutes, it had dropped down to 125, way below what they had anticipated and they're very happy with that. As they say, the surgeons say, uh, he is adapting very well uh, to space walking. Doing very well indeed, and apparently every part of the uh, spacewalk has gone absolutely perfectly so far. He had a little bit of difficulty perhaps attaching his 16 millimeter camera to the forward side of the hatch, which was his second uh, mission after emerging from the hatch or after opening the hatch. That hatch opening took place on schedule over the Pacific by the time they were over Hawaii uh, some uh, 30 minutes ago. They had the hatch open a little bit ahead of schedule, if anything, and uh, Cernan was standing in the seat. He turned around and recovered a small box of, uh, which was a micrometeorite collection, collection box. It had been uh, activated uh, during the sleep periods uh, from inside the spacecraft uh, for the last two days and it was to measure the impact of these tiny specks, some almost invisible of the micrometeorites that are floating in space. How many of them are there and how dangerous are they to man in space? At this moment, uh, they're back in touch in Ascension Island, and let's listen in. Roger. Tom, can you see whether the uh, tape recorder power circuit breaker is on or off on the right console? Probably the same circuit breaker that they had trouble with before the spacewalk began, okay. caused an uncontrolled roll, and uh, they're just making sure from Houston that uh, that circuit breaker is still off. Uh, they don't want another roll while CERN is out there. simulation, not something that happened in space. Our hatch uh, flew open. I repeat again, that did not happen in the space of flight. It happened only here at this remarkable simulation which McDonald Aircraft has built uh, here at St. Louis. McDonald are the people who build the Gemini uh, spaceships and built the Mercury ship before that.